moment it's absolutely glorious today so three matches down and three matches won by Japan next up is the second ranked women's doubles and it's Yuki Fukushima and Orisa Higashino for Japan up against Mahwa and Saika for Indonesia of course when we get to the quarterfinal stage we won't play any dead matches but as you can see this is the first ever match for the current world number one Fukushima and Higashino the Olympic bronze medalist whereas for the Indonesian pair they've actually been in four international tournament finals winning three of them Yuki Fukushima and Orisa Higashino. For Orisa Higashino, this is her first ever match in a Uber Cup campaign. She was not paired with Fukushima for the first two matches within this Group A. Fukushima was with Mizaki Matsutomo, the former Olympic champion. So this is her first ever Yuba Cup match for Arusa Higashino. So their opponents, uh, Nita Violina Mawa against Putri Saika. These two youngsters, both just 20 years of age, and this for them a first Uba Cup campaign. They weren't selected either as a pair for the first two matches against Germany and France, uh, but Saika was selected uh, against France to play with the Olympic champion Apriani Rahayu. So seeing as this is the first ever match together for Fukushima and Higashino, it must be the first ever meeting between these two pairs. They take the side. They take the side. Service. You keep to serve. So. The Indonesians won the toss and have chosen ends. And the Japanese pair have chosen to serve. I'm already a little concerned that there seems to be some strapping on the right thigh of Yuki Fukushima. 28 years of age from Yetsushiro City in Kumamoto Prefecture. And she and her regular partner Sayaka Hirota are currently world number ones. Hirota has undergone knee surgery for a torn anterior cruciate ligament. So for the Olympic bronze medalist, Arisa Higashino, 25 years of age, born in Iwamizawa, on the island of Hokkaido. Not the tallest of athletes, 160, that's about five foot three but her mixed doubles partnership with Yuta Watanabe has been wonderful. Olympic bronze medalist, world championship bronze medalist, two times all England champions. So to Nitya, uh, Nita Violina Mawa, 20 years of age, from West Java, was the number one seed, this pair, at both the 2019 World Junior Championships and the Asian Junior Championships that same year. Didn't perform as they had hoped. Her partner, Putri Saika, is 20 years of age. From Padang in West Sumatra. And they've won three titles 
in their fledgling career. 2018 Turkey International Series and then a couple of titles in 2019 Iran International Challenger and the Vietnam International Challenger. Jörg Kupitz of Germany is our on par for this one. Seamus Halpin of Ireland, the service judge. So, for both these pairs, it is the first match as pairs in this Uber Cup campaign. Achilles strapped and her right thigh. Well, that's a little concerning. The young Indonesian pair have been as high as 41 in the world. Well, that's quite a difference to a pair who's currently number one and has been as high as three in the mixed doubles here, Higashino. On my right, Japan. Represented by Yuki Fukushima and Ariza Higashino. And on my left, Indonesia. Represented by Putri Shaikan and Nita Violina Baiwa. The part to serve, Yuki Fukushima to Nita Violina Barba. Lavo, play. So the Indonesians nearest to us, the 20-year-olds, up against the vastly more experienced Japanese players, but not experienced at all as a pair. Well, if you've ever seen Narisa Higashino play mixed doubles, you know what an athletic player she is. Park Jibong, pleased with the opening rally. She's one of the best mixed doubles players in the world, Higashino. I suggest that the Indonesians need to try and keep her away from the front court area. Oh, lucky net ball from Higashino. Oh, it's called out. Well, I'm surprised about that. There's the confusion. It always happens with a new pairing. Oh, what a delightful block shot from Yuki Fukushima. And look what she does as she's blocking the shuttle. She's immediately looking to come and move forward. Wonderful, wonderful shot.
Oh, well, she knew that cross court was the right idea. Saika. Well, that one was nowhere near on this rally so far, 36 shots. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't be at all surprised if we see a rally even longer than that later on in this game or this match. to start by this brand new Japanese pair. Seven love. Forge is such a threat, Higashino. And I think at the moment, Marpa and Saika are unsure what they should be doing. Attacking play like that doesn't seem to be breaking down the defence. the net player, I think, the Indonesians. How many times have the Indonesians managed to intercept? I can't remember any so far. is longer than that 36 shot rally. I think it's quite a bit longer. Nine, yeah, it certainly was. <laughs> Cracky, look at that. 68 shots. from Higashino. Gosh, I'd like to see her on a women's doubles court more often. Concentrates on her mixed doubles in general terms. Although I do know that this Japanese women's doubles pair is entered into the Denmark Open next week. And that's going to be very interesting. 11-1 at the mid-game interval. Totally, totally dominant. Fukushima and Higashino. Just seven minutes into the match. Oh, 
Yeah, that was a call from her partner. And so he got, he was committed to it. So he, in the end, sort of played a nothing shot. Oh, that's two errors on the two serves on the returns. On the first two points after the resumption of play. Mawa going forward to the net. I suggested they needed to try and get one of the net players involved. uses that sort of swiped backhand to try and get out of trouble Fukushima. to see that again. What happened there? Oh, it did go over. How extraordinary. No, I don't understand why the... Well, Fukushima is... says, we'll look at the giant screen because we think that the shuttle didn't come over the net. Now the service judges getting involved. Okay. 5.30. Yeah, no, I think that was okay. I think it was just a terrible miss hit off the frame of the racket, possibly the shaft, and that's why it didn't go any distance hardly at all. But I thought that was fine. Play. That's too flat and well long from Mawa. completely missed it. Higashino. Well, they're playing themselves into these rallies now. Marvar and Saika. time at the front of the court, Higashino. So 
So Vizera. pressure on the return of serve. Yeah, it wasn't the best of serves, has to be said. Placement towards the right hip. Well, Saika. He's landed in. Thing here. Indonesian women's doubles coach, what a difference he's made since he's been back in Indonesia. I think he spent time in America, first of all coaching, then he was in Singapore. Now back in his native country. away from the open gate for Japan. Oh, such athletic play. Defensive shots from Higashino. A host of game point opportunities. trouble. Oh. 
Yeah. Well worked by Fukushima and Higashino. 21-9 confirms the umpire. Just about 19 minutes for the opening game. opening game for this brand new Japanese pair of Yuka Fukushima and Orisa Higashino. 21-9 opening game against Mapa and Saika. Yeah, good block. Was that a clash of rackets and a broken frame, or was that broken strings? Uh, she's hidden it away, we can't see. the front of the courts, Higashino. human. She can't make mistakes. One, yeah, both leaving it for the other. That's the problem with a new partnership.
the lights clear. Well, the attempted angled smash from Malva finding the net. Oh, that's disappointing for the Indonesians. I thought they were playing a good rally there. Much, much flatter smash from Fukushima. Good variation. That little half-court push from the Indonesians. That one. That was absolutely tremendous. Changed the whole momentum of the rally. That lovely little push from Mahwa. in each other's way. at the front of the court by Orisa Higashino making the difference. Well, that was another long, long rally. of the smash from Sayuka. Yeah, I thought we had a long, long rally. 86 shots. Obviously not that last rally, but the previous rally to that. That was amazing.
Yeah. And that's what clever variation in pace can do. The drop shots from Fukushima. Indonesians late onto it. And then the opportunity for Higashino to intercept at the net. Yeah, a little bit of good fortune for the Indonesians. Short, yeah. I said in the opening game that I felt that the Indonesians needed to involve the net player more. And this is a perfect example of how the Japanese managed to involve their front court player, which most of the time is Arisa Higashida. But they're smashing in such a precise way, or whether it's a drop shot or whether it's a smash, it's an attacking shot that does then involve the net player. And that was a much better placement on the smash that time. From Saika. This is a good little spell by the Indonesian youngsters. Japanese pair to the mid-game interval with a four-point advantage. For considering it was 11-1 at the mid-game interval of the opening game, the Indonesians now are doing much, much better. Very relaxed, don't they? Oh, that's nice.
Missed it. Yeah, run out of patience in the end. Need to mop up. Good serve. Oh, lucky net board. Uh, and they're just beginning to pull away now, Japanese pair. Five straight points. And when they were only 10 7 up, one really thought the Indonesians had a chance. I think the chance now is just seeping away. Brilliant. What a super shot by Nita Mawa. Oh, they're challenging. Challenge too. Very good challenge. Oh, look at that defence. Brilliant. 
Andres, one of the Japanese players. Short. Oh, she's got it back. Oof. Well, did Fukushima touch that? Ten. Sixty. Oh, I think she must have done it because I thought that shuttle landed out the back. Oh, final attacking shot from the Indonesians. Nice, brilliant play from Fukushima. Outmaneuvering her opponents. That one really was a beauty. And follows it up with a backhand kill. Well, from about the mid-game info, it's all been one way traffic and it's all been in favour of this Japanese pair. Oh, that got very badly deflected by the net court by the Japanese pair. But they're on the verge of victory here. 20 match point 10. Look at Higashina's movement at the front of the court, even off the shuttle. Yeah, convert on their first opportunity. 21-9, 21-10. The margin of the victory for this uh, brand new pair of Yuka Fukushima and Orisa Higashina. 43 minutes in total for the victory. And they're once again confirmation. 21-9, 21-10. Yeah, no wonder they're happy. Looked very impressive in that match. Second women's doubles. This is the match point opportunity. Final backhand from Mahua. 
into the net. So, just one more match to come. Third women's single, Zaya Ohori, the left-hander for Japan, up against a 16-year-old, Esther Wadoyo. Welcome back to Aarhus and beautiful scene of Aarhus Bay. Isn't it absolutely beautiful? We're on the east coast of Jutland. Beautiful scenery. 